today's episode. How do you do, Winter Bubbles? And Bubble, welcome to Stories of My Life. So, today, second day at work. Today, I'm feeling tired, but I'm proud of myself because yesterday I went to the opera afterwards and I sort of edited two videos and uploaded and wrote a sort of um, critique. I'm not sure what. So, that's over and done with it, which is really good. Otherwise, I would sort of have. Oh, 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 oh. Now I just need to edit Saturday's, no, Sunday's videos and Monday's videos. Yes, people, apparently, I'm an editor. Um, hello and welcome to... Hello and welcome to... Hello and welcome to Swedish Word of the Today. Swedish Word of the Today is COP. Uh, I hello, people, second day back at the theatre after the... Corona clo closed down all our lives. So, welcome to my workspace. Today is um, the big international bring stuff up to the attic. So people, remember yesterday when I changed the battery in the clock? Well, I think I need to change it again. Now, people, I think it's time for something that we Swedes call lunch. Lunch. That means eating in the middle of the day. You can use it freely. Oh, and now I'm into hats and shoes. These shoes, it's really big. It's 43 European, and I guess it's an eight in American. Can that be it? So they're going in this box. Ladies' shoes for gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh, and by the way, you save space by turning the shoes like this. You don't save much space, but some space. So let's go to the next level. Literarily. So that hat was in my fair lady. It was not worn by the Eliza though. This one, I'm not sure. <laughs> of course, I'm groaning in stuff here. So people, slowly we are getting more room and stuff is getting sorted. Because <sighs> when we were rehearsing for over a year ago, no, just about a year ago, sort of, you just wanted to get out and get home because were, Corona were everywhere. And um, now Corona is not so much everywhere. So I just found this box of tumbled up <laughs> necklaces oh my god so i'm taking a tea break and i thought i'd th check in with you how are you all uh-huh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well that is fantastically interesting because yes because of numerous reasons so i'll be going home in what oh an hour i have not been posting much but that is because I've been working much. And it's sort of, you carry stuff and you sort of clean stuff and you move stuff and it's not much to really show. Or, I mean, 
I can show you moving one pair of shoes, but then sort of when you move 20 pairs, it's sort of like, I think the word is repetitive. R repetitive. Repetitive. Yeah. I realised that I didn't show you my lunch, which was sort of the highlight of the day, and I just sort of wolfed it down. I also realised that I have to bring snacks to work because I can't. I can't. I need. I need. So what do you think happens to a banana that you leave in the fridge for a year? Well, this. This, to me, <laughs> it looks almost... Oh, there's a little mould, but otherwise it's sort of... This looks almost like a vanilla bean, doesn't it? <laughs> so, yes, well, I can't eat that, can I? Well, maybe I should try it. People, it's time to go home, and on my way home, through the bustling city of Stockholm, I will be buying fruit, left and right. I'm tired. Wait. People, let me say something about this fantastic bag from Ikea. I bought it maybe two years ago. Oh, well, maybe earlier, later than that, earlier than that. And I thought, you know, that it, would, it wouldn't last and all that silver would just fall off. But somehow, Ikea, there is quality to this stuff. It, I mean, I've been using it a lot and it's great. It holds a lot of stuff. And it's fashionable as well. So, if you haven't bought it, ugh, you're too late. But what you can do is rejoice for me because I got four of those. Remember how I told you how great this bag was? And one of the reasons is that it had this sort of cover which sort of allows you to put more stuff in than you can possibly hold. Well, when I was biking, it sort of opened up. So I don't know, a man yelled at me, of course, I've been losing, what? The bread. The bread and the salad, and that one was just lying in the middle of the road. So, I'll never compliment anything ever again. This is the face of a man who's trying to remember what he bought so that he can ascertain whether he lost it all, any, or just some, or none. Yeah, those are the four categories you can lose stuff. The more you know. Okay, people, so I thought I'd m do a piece of just shameless self-promotion. Most of you don't remember, but I did these sort of weird little videos some time ago. I'm going to do one again. Hello, I'm Kitty Von Du and I'm a gospel singer from way back when, so I know a thing or two about comedy. You know, some people are just naturally funny and some people can thrive and bloom telling jokes in a living room and some people have to work at it. And some people are not funny at all. Like, at all. You know, someone who's had to work a lot is you, Joachim Clifton Bergman and his Instagram account. He's not quite there. Well, he's not at all there quite. But... He's getting funnier. So if I were you, I would check him out. You know, this is Kitty Fondue saying, try it, you might like it. I don't know if that was funny or not, but I had to do it. I had to. Here I am talking to Magnus on Skype. Now, where are we on? What, is this... FaceTime. Yes. And he's showing me his medallion that he sort of got on Erlang, which is... <laughs> Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.